because there's a history mm -hmm. of black activists sure. right. who were entertainers, right. who were sports figures. Right. The reality is you can go down Ossie Davis and Ruby D and Diane Carroll and Sidney Poitier and Dick Gregory and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. A Hara Belafonte, artists who use their platforms to also be active. And you're right, that was the issue. The issue that I have most with Jason Whitlock mm -hmm. is he says they're stupid, they're dumb, right. they're ignorant, they're not smart enough to know yeah. what they're talking about. When the fact of the matter is, no, you got cats who, when, when he said, oh, y'all yo, yo, is all of a sudden turning them into intellectual heavyweights. I mean, it was this whole, it, was, it literally yeah. was, he literally was the equivalent of just shut the hell up and play entertainment. No, all right, folks, back to our Rollmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. I want to thank one of our uh, newest supporters. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk, talk to you about right now. If you're looking for a hot new investment opportunity, I have two things I want you to think about, legal marijuana and crowdfunding. Now, you just let that sink in for a second. Our friends at Transatlantic Real Estate have created a unique opportunity for everyday investors like you to get in the game for as little as 300 bucks. Uh, typically, it takes millions or billions to invest in the legal marijuana industry. Some folks, we're going to leave that alone. But uh, and it can be pretty risky uh, trying to establish market share. However, Transatlantic Real Estate is taking a different approach. They buy the land that supports marijuana grow operations and lease it to licensed, high-paying tenants. Now imagine being a landlord to licensed marijuana farm with the prospect of further legalization and changing public perceptions about marijuana. Some investors could end up making serious money over the next few years in this multi-billion dollar industry. The best part is they're using crowdfunding so you can get in now before they take the company public. If you want more information, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org. Now back to your Roland Martin. Unfiltered. That's exactly what he said, and it was very demeaning. And, you know, it's, it always hurts more to see somebody that looks like you on TV saying that. But that, that's kind of his shtick. That's how he gets on, and that he's been doing that for a while. Um, and the issue isn't just having an opinion that differs from yours. You know what I mean? That's why you have conversations. That's why you have discussions, Absolutely. debates. There's nothing wrong with having a difference of opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so, so the reason why I wanted to put together this book was to show all of these athletes who are using their voices, mm -hmm. uh, current athletes, because like you pointed out, you know, people are often, you know, quick to say, "Well, there's no modern day Muhammad Ali, or, or, or no Kareem, modern, or Jim right. Brown, or whatever." Right. But then when you do have somebody right. who does take a stand, then they criticize them for like, like Jason Whitlock did. He's like, "What is he trying to be, Baby Malcolm X?" As if that's a an insult. Right. And right. That is so. It, there's certain black people who would say to call somebody baby Malcolm X or Angela Davis would actually be an insult. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. That's not an insult. Yeah. And you talk to Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Bill Russell, Steve Kerr, Jamel Hill, Oscar Robinson, Dwayne Wade, Russell Westbrook, Michael Bennett, Carmelo Anthony, Soledad O'Brien, Chris Hayes, uh, Tamika Catchings, uh, and others as well. Uh, and what was the one thing that actually, I see Mark Cuban as well. What was the one thing that really stood out the most uh, because you talked to black folks, right. white folks, right. media, sports, mm -hmm. entertainment. Right. I mean, one of the main things that stood out was well, there, there was so much. So so the way that, you know, I keep referring back to your to your conversation with Jason Whitlock, um, the demonization of Kaepernick and the belittling of Kaepernick and the meaning of Kaepernick. Like he had no idea what he was talking about. He had no, you know, and he kept saying, you know, I've spoken to different people and, you know, they said this and this about Kaepernick and he has like identity issues and all these things trying to, um, kind of kill the, the messenger because you disagree with the message. Mm -hmm. Well, I interviewed some of Kaepernick's teammates. Mm -hmm. I interviewed Eric Reed. I interviewed Tory Smith, who was a teammate at the time. I interviewed Dr. Harry Edwards, and we know the history of Dr. Harry Edwards, but he was also his uh, mentor uh, on the team. And he's specifically telling why Kaepernick was taking a knee. And Eric, you, when you hear Eric Reed talking about how it hurt him to watch killing after killing happen, you know what I mean? And nothing being done. And that's what I wanted to do with the book, because you know, you know this person took a knee, this person didn't like this, this person wore a t-shirt. Now I'm gonna go deeper into why they right. wore the I Can't Breathe t-shirt. And allow them to explain it, which a lot of media <laughs> folks would not do to right. listen right. to what they had to say. You hey, just, Ruben, yes. What's the name of the book and where do we get it? That's what I'm about to do. I got it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm just trying to look out. I got it. Right. Just keep your ass over there. <laughs> Pick the damn thing up, and unbeknownst to you, the control room, I can hear them say, pull the graphic up. We got this, Spencer. All right. All right. Yeah. But why don't your ass go ahead and say it since you want to go ahead and
do. God, hold the book up since you look at that camera right there. No, look right there. Right here. So where do we get this book? Damn it, tell the name of the who wrote it the name of the book. We matter. Athletes and activists. Look at the camera when you're doing it. Since you want to do it. Athletes and activism, we matter. We're that ain't it. The book is called We Matter, Athlete. Do it right. Here, do it ahead. again. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Y'all, the book written by Eton Thomas. It is We Matter, Athletes and Activism in bookstores now. Get it online as well. Go support your black bookstore.